Are you a window or an aisle seat person? I'm definitely a window. I like to see what's out in the skies. What about you? I See, and this is gonna come as funny, you'd think, because I'm the weatherman. You know, I stand and talk about rain and clouds all day. Uh, I would be a window seat person. Uh, but considering the fact that uh, my now wife lives, you know, her family lives uh, out in Idaho, I continually fly the exact same route all the time. And so I don't care what's outside because it never changes. And now I prefer the convenience of the aisle seat. Okay, don't tell me you're that type of person who likes the aisle seat so you can hurry up and get off the plane. Okay, people hurrying up and getting off the plane the second the seatbelt sign turns off is a whole different discussion for a completely different day. And I have don't a feeling I have a feeling Kanisha and I agree. And we just we don't have time to complain about it. We are talking about a little bit of rain across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. Rain has been consistent across Northwest Alabama, Lauderdale, Cobbert, and Franklin County. A little less consistent everywhere else. East of the I-65 corridor, we've been talking about some spotty showers. Folks across Jackson, DeKalb, and Marshall counties really haven't seen much rain at all this evening. We did end up getting a little bit of rain across the Huntsville metro area, and we are talking about uh, a little bit of rain up across Giles and Lincoln. Lincoln counties. Opportunities for rain are going to continue to some extent as we head into the overnight and then early into your Friday morning. All thanks to the stationary boundary decided to drop south just a little bit through the middle part of the afternoon. It's going to hang out here for at least the next 12 hours. Then it's going to drift back to the north. It's going to take a lot of that precipitation with it. And for the most part, Friday actually looks really nice across North Alabama and Southern Middle Tennessee. Near record high this afternoon at the Huntsville International Airport. Saw a high this afternoon of 73 degrees. The last time we saw 73 on December 16th was in the year 2015. We're not the only ones dealing with unseasonably warm air. Birmingham saw a high this afternoon of 71. Montgomery saw 71. Jackson, Mississippi saw 78. Memphis saw 70 this afternoon. Charlotte, North Carolina saw a high this afternoon of 71 degrees. It is going to be an incredibly warm night across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee. I've got a low right around 59 degrees. That is really weird because the average high temperature for this time of year is right around 54 or 55 degrees. Let me repeat myself. The average high temperature, this is where we should finish the day, is right around 54 or 55. And our low temperature tonight, early tomorrow morning, right around 59. For many of the kids, tomorrow is the last trip to the bus stop for the year. It is going to be an incredibly warm morning. 60 at 7, 61 by 8, 64 degrees by the time we get to 9 o'clock. An isolated shower is going to be possible tomorrow afternoon, but like I said, I'm pretty confident most of us are going to be dry. The best opportunity for any rain is going to be really early in the morning. From there, it does look like it's going to be a warm afternoon. Once again, temperatures climbing into the upper 60s and lower 70s. By the time we get to Friday night, we're talking about an area of low pressure and a cold front extending down from that area of low pressure. That cold front is going to draw closer to the Tennessee Valley as we head into the overnight early into your Saturday morning. What does that mean for us? Well, that means we're talking about the opportunity for a little bit of widespread heavy rain across the Tennessee Valley. Not just here across North Alabama, Southern Middle Tennessee, but we're also going to talk about the opportunity for widespread rain up into Tennessee and then down into Central and South Alabama. Looks like this is going to be a somewhat prominent feature through a good majority of the afternoon and then even as we head into the evening. Cold front finally comes through during the middle part of the evening, but I think it's going to be too little too late, especially if you had some sort of a plan to do last minute Christmas shopping. If you were going to go up to Nashville, you're going to have to deal with a little bit of rain. Maybe you were planning to go down to Birmingham. You're going to have to deal with a little bit of rain. And here locally, you're going to have to deal with some rain on Saturday. It is, however, going to be warm. Temperatures hanging out in the upper 60s. We've got a high right around 69 degrees. Though on the back side of the cold front, it's going to be much cooler. I've got a high right around 50 on Sunday, but Sunday does look much drier. Therefore, I think Sunday is actually going to be the better day this weekend if you have to do any of that Christmas shopping. 55 on Monday, 55 on on Tuesday. Tuesday is the first day of winter. 56 on Wednesday. 58 degrees by the time we get to next Thursday, Kanisha.